So Max Scherzer took the mound at Dodger Stadium to take on his former team. The former team nobody ever probably even thinks about when you say Max Scherzer's former team. I mean, seriously, whoever thinks about when Max Scherzer was on the Dodgers? Kind of weird to think he ever played there. It was only for a few months, and he was great when he was there. But yeah, at least when I think of Scherzer, you know, I think of the teams he was on for a while, like the Nationals, Tigers, for obvious reasons. Anyway, so Scherzer, now a Met, is facing the Dodgers lineup, and after being checked by an umpire for a sticky substance, he was told to go wash his hands, and then he would be checked again prior to the third inning. When he came back out and was expected before his third inning, the umpires did find that his pitching hand was clean, but then found a sticky substance in the pocket of his glove, telling him to change his glove. So a reluctant and annoyed Scherzer listened and did so. Scherzer then came back out for the fourth inning, only to be checked again and found that his hand was even stickier than before, although he didn't even throw a pitch from the time he was last checked till now, getting ejected from the game. In Major League Baseball's letter on the matter, based on the umpire's training to detect rosin on a pitcher's hands, the umpire's checking Scherzer for a foreign substance concluded that the level of stickiness during the fourth inning check was so extreme that it was inconsistent with the use of rosin and or sweat alone, which is what Scherzer was saying it was. Both umpires reported difficulty removing the substance from their own hands for multiple innings afterward, with MLB going on to say that it was an appropriate ejection. So Scherzer was done for the day, being thrown out for apparently having ridiculously sticky hands. Umpire Dan Bellino, the clown who instigated an ejection out of Madison Bumgarner last year, was one of the umps checking Scherzer, and he'd go on to say that Scherzer's hands were the stickiest any hands had been since he started inspecting hands, which goes back three seasons. Somehow, the umpire who ejected Scherzer, Phil Cuzzy, is the same umpire who's ejected every player who's ever been ejected from being found to have a foreign substance while pitching. Only three players have had it happen to them since the rules came into place, including Max Scherzer, and Cuzzy has been the umpire to eject the pitcher all three times. That's your weirdly random fact of the day. So Bellino and Cuzzy, the umpires who check Scherzer, are convinced that he had more than just sweat and rosin on his hands. Scherzer himself, on the other hand, was seen on live TV pleading that it was just rosin, and after the game, he only continued to defend his case, saying that he swore on his kids' lives it was just rosin. Watch. He's like, that's too sticky, you need to go back on there, wash it off again, and reapply uh, the rosin. And so I did that, and then at the same time, he thought my glove had too much rosin on it. And I was like, okay, if that's a problem, you know, there's there's nothing going on. It, you know, he's like, you need a new glove. Like, okay, so come back out, uh, pitch the third, and, and knew I was going to get checked in the fourth. So I, I'd have to be an absolute idiot to do try to do anything when I'm coming back out for the fourth. I then go back out there, and Phil Cuzzy says that my hand's too sticky. Yes, when you use sweat and rosin, your hand is sticky, but. I don't get how I get ejected when I'm in front of MLB officials doing exactly exactly what you want and being deemed my hands too sticky when I'm using legal substance. I do not understand that. He said my hands too sti sticky and I said I swear on my kid's life I'm not using anything else. This is sweat and rosin, sweat and rosin. I keep saying it over and over and they touch my hand they say it's sticky and I like yes it is because it's sweat and rosin and they say it's too sticky. It's not. And it, it, they threw me out because of that. Getting ejected with your hands being too sticky is an automatic 10 game suspension by the league with players being able to appeal. So as expected, Scherzer was suspended for 10 games by the league with a chance to appeal and he accepted that chance to appeal before dropping it and accepting the full 10 games. According to Scherzer, he decided not to appeal his suspension because the appeal would have been through an MLB arbitrator and not a neutral arbitrator. So he of course felt it would be a biased case and that the 10 games would have been upheld anyway. Max Max Scherzer has a reputation for being kind of crazy and almost mentally insane, at least when he's on the mound, as it's basically part of his game to be that way. But honestly, all things considered, he did seem pretty tame for the most part during the substance checks with the umpires along with the interviews he did afterward. At least for Scherzer's standards, it seemed pretty tame. But yeah, so Scherzer has accepted the 10 game suspension while also being fined an undisclosed amount by the league and will miss his next two starts. Let me know what you think about this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.